in a previous video I mentioned um, I've been kind of talking up these Heiko products uh, I mentioned I might uh, do a, a demonstration of the uh, Heiko FR 300 uh, so I, uh, I need to just remove a little, a little bit of solder from the circuit board here so I figured maybe I would do a, a, uh, make a quick clip um, and uh, so on this is the AM radio transmitter I've been talking about I've got those diodes I need to remove so I've marked their locations uh, on the board here um, of the pins I need to desolder uh, if you can see it I've marked them with a little bit of magic marker so I've got one, one here and then two here so with the uh, HACO uh, FR300 uh, you need to uh, adjust the um, sorry the uh, heat setting properly um, and you can see there's uh, indications between one and four and then a code here and um, you sort of pick uh, the temperature range you need I think for this uh, somewhere between 660 and 750 uh, is about where I want to be so I've got it on two I might be able to try let me just try a little lower this doesn't need a lot of heat let's try one and a half um, so very simple you just uh, this element is is um, when the unit is on and plugged in um, and your on off button is on this element is always hot so you need to be very careful the one thing you're <clears throat> activating with this uh, trigger is just the vacuum which will um, suck up the uh, the solder which has been um, melted by the tip and put it into this canister here and it goes like that so let's give us a try here. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. And uh, looks like the first one is here. Make sure that's in view. Heat it up. And it's done. It's that quick. Let me get the other one. So you can see the capacitor just dropped right out. I mean, how fantastic is that? And I've got two more here. Zip. Zip and done. And look at that. I didn't need to tug or pull at all on the um, components and uh, they just popped right out. So again, fantastic. Put that back here. I'm gonna turn this off now because I don't think I'll need it for a while. Um, again, as I mentioned before, you know, it's a bit of a luxury, but my gosh, it's just so nice. and. You know, I'm, maybe maybe it's just me, but I'm, uh, <laughs> I can never get these uh, vacuum plunges to work well. Never, never, never. You know, with these, you're supposed to, you know, press down on this, and then put this on the solder you want to remove, put it on there, press the button, and, you know, you get this instant vacuum. You're supposed to suck it right up. I don't know. I just, I uh, again, maybe it's just the lack of practice, but um, I've had no luck with these. Um and the braid, I've had better luck, um, but again, it's um, you know it's difficult to use. It ends up being sort of a two-handed process where you're trying to keep the soldering iron on there, hold the braid, pull it out, and um, again, I just uh, it's fine. I mean, I, I actually I probably could make do with these, uh, particularly for something small like a circuit board. You know, I I do manage to make these things work. I just um, struggle with them. But again, the Heiko's great, uh, especially you know, if you run into you know, large, large amounts of solder you need to remove on like a you know, ground lug on an old radio. You could have, you know, um, big, big, you know, chassis acting as a heat sink. You've got three or four good size, you know, gauge wires coming in. Uh, you really got to heat that up and, and that Heiko will do it. That element um, will go up. Let's see. How, what's the temperature? It goes all the way up to um, 930 degrees. So that's generally hot enough to um, melt just about anything and even on um, large pieces of metal and the tip is large too so it does conduct a lot of heat all right so there you go